Hi, my name is Kate Galvin, and the Walnut Street Theater has been part of my life for about 25 years. I was a camper and an apprentice. I spent seven years as the theater's casting director and Bernard's assistant. And more recently, I have been a director. You may have seen my work in the studio with Proof or um, A Moon for the Misbegotten or on the main stage with other desert cities. So I have a lot of wonderful memories from the Walnut and it was hard to pick one, but uh, there was a particular day that was maybe perhaps the most dramatic day I ever spent at the theater. And that was on the occasion of the Walnut's 200th anniversary. This was a huge concert and gala reception celebrating the Walnut's 200 years uh, in February, 2009. And it was a massive undertaking to get the production together. We had about 50 artists, many of whom were coming in from all over the country and some of whom didn't even arrive until the morning of the event. But the day before we had a great rehearsal, things were on track, we were feeling good. Bernard threw us a lovely dinner at a steakhouse that night and I went home feeling nervous but confident that we were gonna pull this off. I got to work early the next day and put my stuff down at my desk and then went across the street to Starbucks to caffeinate for what was going to be a long day. When I got back, there was no power in the building or on the block. So <laughs> needless to say, I had a minor panic attack, um, but luckily our facility manager, uh, Bruce and Mark Sylvester were on it already and they were, taking care of getting Pico to find a way out uh, so that we could go on with the show that night without um, 1809 candlelight. So we did what we had to do, which was to press on with our scheduled music rehearsals that morning. We found a studio that had a lot of natural light. Unfortunately, it was on the sixth floor, but we made do. Um, and we pressed on with our rehearsals as scheduled. By some miracle, around lunchtime, the power came back on and our incredible stage crew and stage management team got the theater ready to go and we started tech only about an hour late. And thanks to the preparation and focus of our performers, we got everything done and got the show off on time that night. And what a show it was. From the minute Chuck Abbott stepped on stage to sing Vilkomen, it was a truly magical evening. And there were just so many performers who I loved, who were such a big part of my life at that time. Jeff Kuhn, Ben Dibble, Mary Martello, Katie O'Shaughnessy, Christina DiCicco, Hugh Pinero, Mark Jacoby. It was a truly star-studded event, and I was so grateful to be a part of it. So I know that things seem a little scary right now and that the theater is dark, but I have full confidence that the Walnut is gonna be going strong for another 200 years.